Now the speed of an object is really just a measure of how fast it's going, how many meters it's traveling per second, but sometimes a more useful thing to think about is velocity. Now velocity is a vector quantity and therefore the direction is important as well. And when it comes to velocity, what we often think about isn't just how quickly something's moving, but how quickly it's moving in a certain direction. And this gives us uh, rise, I suppose, to the definition of velocity. So basically we can say that at GCSE that velocity is the speed in a given direction. So we might be thinking about things which are going left or right or up or down, or maybe sometimes we say things going this direction are positive and things this direction are negative. Now, when it comes to velocity, it is still pretty similar to speed. You've got to remember that speed is equal to distance divided by time, where speed is a scalar quantity, so it only has size, and so is distance. Distance is just how far something has gone, so that is also a scalar quantity, and time is a scalar, um, because that's just it's just got size. Um, whereas velocity, we work it out, I suppose, strictly speaking, not by the distance divided by time, but by the displacement divided by time. And both velocity and displacement are vector quantities, which means they've got a magnitude and a direction. So that's quite important. Um, but apart from that, we still measure distance in metres and displacement in metres. We measure speed in metres per second and velocity in metres per second. And in actual fact, often we use the same uh, symbol equation for both of them, saying that V is equal to S divided by T. Especially at GCSE, we don't really make that distinction. And that's all there is to it really. Uh, so just be very careful when it comes to defining what you're looking at. Often speed is fine, but if it comes to certain things, perhaps when you're looking at things like momentum, it's really important to think about the velocity. So it's not just how quickly something is moving, but how quickly it's moving in a stated direction. So this line in red is the journey that I took when I went from this point down here up to this point up here. So I kind of had a bit of an adventure going through the woods, um, up some cliffs and across some fields. Now I want to work out how quickly I was actually traveling. Now the distance I actually walked was 2,800 meters. And actually when I did this, the time it took me was equal to 45 minutes. And I just kind of recorded that on my watch as I was doing this. Um, and I want to work out how quickly I was traveling so I can work out my speed. So the speed that I traveled was equal to the distance I traveled divided by the time taken. In this case, the distance was 2,800 meters and the time was 45 minutes, but I need to multiply this by 60 to convert it into seconds. When it comes to working this out on my calculator, that's just equal to 2,800 divided by 45 times 60. And this gives me a number of 1.037. So I'm just gonna say that's equal to 1.0 meters per second. A little bit slower than the normal kind of walking pace of about 1.5 meters per second, but that's because there was some quite difficult terrain to cover and also some big hills to actually walk up as well. So a little bit slower than normal walking speed. But what was my average velocity? Well velocity really depends upon the, t uh, the displacement rather than the distance. So to work out the velocity, the velocity was equal to the displacement divided by the time which was equal to 1400 divided by the same time, which is 45 times 60. And because by complete coincidence, this displacement is half the distance, our answer is going to be half of the previous answer. So that's equal to 0 0.5 meters per second. So pretty much on average, every second I got half a meter closer to the end point on this journey. So that's just a little bit, again, it's uh, the same kind of equation about something is equal to something divided by time. And we often use the same symbols, but here I've worked out how quickly I was actually going at one meter per second, that's my average speed, and how that actually is different to the average velocity of my journey.